Today we are running a little experiment in terms of uh, calculating the EV efficiency of the Outlander in the mountains. Uh, we start with a, a drive at about 1300 meters of altitude. The road is wet but at uh, these speeds I hope it's not changing too much the uh, performance. Now you can see already quite early on uh, we're already hovering around the 600 watt hours per kilometers um, and very quickly the battery will deplete itself. Uh, it just takes a few minutes really uh, given of course the capacity of the battery. So we finish at 1685 meters of altitude. That means we've used about a third of the usable capacity of the battery to climb uh, 350 meters and for seven minutes of a ride. Time to look at the overall performance. We use 2.8 kilowatt hours for a distance of 4.6 kilometers. And like I said, it's about 609 watt hours per kilometers. Now, the interesting uh, calculation is that of the gravitational energy that's required to lift the car, which is about two tons, um, all the way up by about 350 meters of height. Now, there's a, a classic formula for that, and it tells us that we would need about 1.9 kilowatt hours. Now, that's about 415 watt hours per kilometers distance on the 7.5% grade of, of a road it would mean that the efficiency in the mountain is there about the same as the efficiency you would have on a flat terrain so about 180 watt hour per kilometers but then you add the requirement to lift the car up in other words the requirement to compensate for the gravitational energy now this is quite interesting to compute the capacity, the battery requirements to go over a road that has a certain grade and over a certain distance. So for instance, my ski resort is about a thousand meters of elevation higher from the last point of charging. And it's about 16 kilometers away as well. Um, what that means is I would need about 130% of the battery capacity of an Outlander PHEV. So that's not going to happen, really. I will never be able to climb all the way from the valley up to the ski resort.